welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to do a hair care video today. Um, it's kind of like a little mini haul of things that I've recently purchased and started putting into my um, hair care routine. Start things off, what really inspired this video was this PR package that I got from Real Communications. So it comes with the Finesse, oops, purple shampoo um, and purple conditioner. So it's actually from the line called Silver Beauty for both of them. Um, and it says for graying hair, but you know, if you use purple shampoo, if you're blonde, purple shampoo is for you. Or if you have like gray toned hair, purple shampoo is also for you because it takes down any brassiness that your hair might pull. Um, since I'm naturally a brunette and I've been blonde now for about 10 years, I do pull a lot of brass. Um, so even though I've been doing it for so long because my hair is darker, it still isn't completely brass free because I only wash my hair once a week. Yeah, that's what I said, once a week. And I'm not ashamed of it because my hair can do it. <laughs> so when I wash my hair once, once a week, I always do a regular shampoo and then I'll do my purple shampoo after. For somebody who's really brassy, I need something more intense. When I started lathering, I saw that the shampoo no longer was purple, but it ended up being clear, just like a regular shampoo. The purple shampoo that I use right now is Matrix. Um, it is found in salons and that one is a intense purple shampoo, which is why I love it because it keeps the color purple. Like if you let it soak in your hair, it will turn your hair purple. So it really depends what kind of blonde you are and how much um, brass you have and how much ashiness you want to obtain with your purple shampoo. For someone who maybe like you already have blonde, naturally blonde light hair, or you have gray hair and you don't pull a lot of brass, I think this would be for you because it gives you that purple, purple tint in the beginning and then after it lathers and it becomes clear or white, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so for me, somebody who is fake blonde, I need something that's more powerful. So honestly, I wouldn't go out and purchase this, but if you're somebody who's a natural blonde, you have gray hair, you don't have much brass, then I think definitely why not? It's a good um, drugstore alternative. First few times that I did use it, I noticed that it didn't really take out any brassy tones. And um, if I was in the dead of summer and I had super golden hair, I don't think it would do what it needs to do. Um, same thing I found with the conditioner. It has the same scent to it. So clean, it is purple. I don't know if you can see. So it's kind of like a lighter, a lighter purple, light blue type of thing. Same with the shampoo. My overall review on these is that I'm just gonna keep using them because it's, you know, regular shampoo and conditioner. Um, if you're really brassy, you're not naturally blonde, I think you're gonna need something a little bit more intense. But if you are a natural blonde, you have gray hair, you wash your hair often, I think this would probably do the job in, in maintaining um, your hair as it is and removing that brassy tone. Um, and I also want to say too, in the little gift, in the little um, PR package, I got two little combs. So something like this and something like this. These are like perfect for my boyfriend. He loves that kind of <laughs> comb. And then these cute little headbands. Um, they are metal, so they, they kind of hurt. I don't wear headbands often because they always hurt behind my ears. Um, but I think they're cute for like little photos and, you know, just like throwing something in. You can't even really see that in my hair. I can already feel it like sliding off. <laughs> but, um, oh, that one's cute. That one's cute and it stands out more. I like that. So yeah, really cute PR package. Thank you so much to Brill Communications. And I'm glad that I got to get out of my comfort zone and try something, um, you know, purple shampoo related from the drugstore. It was a cool experience. Another cool shampoo that I found is this charcoal detox shampoo from OGX. I'm super excited when I got this because um, I realized that I started having like a lot of buildup in my scalp. And like I said, because I don't wash my hair often, I thought like, oh, I'm just getting dandruff now. Like, okay. But it literally happened for like a year and I always had these like flakiness and, and you know, gross like dandruff stuff, right? near my hairline and I think it's probably because like with all the makeup and stuff um yeah just you doing you know two shampoos three shampoos sometimes a week doesn't cut it and there's a lot of buildup so I did my research I found out that charcoal helps to detox like it does with the skin apparently it's a cool new thing that it does with your hair too now um so I picked this up and 
it honestly works. I love it. It's so good. Um, I think I got it on sale for $7.99 at Shoppers. I think regular price is probably like 12 bucks. So it's not too, too bad, but definitely pick it up when it's on sale. Um, so it's sulfate free and um, it says it purifies your strands with a clarifying blend of coconut charcoal and kaolin clay. So basically it removes all your congested buildup, whatever in your hair and it gives you a deep, clean without any stripping and that is very very true um when i wash my hair with it uh i was doing two shampoos with this and if i was going to use a purple shampoo then i would do a third lately i haven't been using a purple shampoo actually so i've just been using this um and it would leave my hair so clean when i would dry my hair there was none of that gunk there there was no flakes that was coming out of my hair like i was so happy that i finally found my solution it's literally because i wasn't removing the buildup. So if you have that issue, I would definitely recommend one, the shampoo, because it's pretty cheap and affordable. And two, even looking into other options of charcoal products. So anything that is targeted for your scalp, that's what you want to look into. Um, but I wanted to try something from the drugstore that was a little bit more affordable. And I'm so, so happy I found this. I'm honestly obsessed. And I thought it was going to be like a dark gray. It's really not, as you can kind of see, and this one smells nice and clean. Um, but it's kind of like, you can't really tell on camera, but in person, it's not a dark gray. I kind of wanted it to be like a dark color, but it's not, it's like a transparent gray. Um, but anyways, does such a good job. This is like now a staple in my hair care and I saw results immediately after I washed my hair. Like it's basically something that you only have to do once a week, um, maybe once every two weeks. So the bottle is gonna last you a long time. So. I already did use quite a bit. I think that was from like two times of washing my hair. Um, but since I found out that tip, I think I'm gonna use it like every other time that I wash my hair. So probably end up using it like twice a month, three times a month or so. Um, so yeah, so it's not something that you need to use all the time. This is something that you would use a um, few times a month. Next, um, I bought this Numi Main Goals Deep Repair Mask. Woo! You are not showing up. Oh my lord. Okay. So basically, it's a white jar. <laughs> um, I found this at Winners. I've never tried the brand Numi before. I'm pretty sure they sell their stuff online. I found this at Winners, and I always see like their um, hair tools there as well. Um, but this smells so good. <sighs> it smells like Beach Walk from Replica. Replica, Replica by Maison Margiela. If you know that perfume, you know how good it is. That's literally my favorite scent. And this is what this smells like. Um, It's a pretty good deep conditioning mask. So this is what I have been using lately. I find that it's really hydrating. It's a little bit small. Like I'm probably already halfway to it. And I think I've had it for like a month or so. Um, but I got it for $8 at Winners. It's 250 grams. So I was like, I'll try it out. Let's see what it's like. And so far, so good. I like it. It's hydrating. My hair tends to be on the drier side. So I always need something that's a little bit more hydrating, especially with my hair mask. I'll like wash my hair, let the mask sink in and like leave it on for like a good five minutes while I'm like shaving, doing other stuff, whatever. I also picked up at Winners, guys. Winners is my favorite place to shop. <laughs> I picked up this IGK um, no, no More Blow. It's a high speed air drying spray because I also have very thick hair that takes forever to dry. Um, when I saw this, I was super intrigued and it claims to dry hair up to 46% faster um so I've used it a few times and honestly like it really worked I found that it works maybe it was all in my head but like I don't think so because I was spraying it in my hair so when you spray it you spray it when your hair is wet um it comes out like a wet substance not wet it's like a cooler gas let's say um and I honestly did find that it sped up the hair blow drying process. So normally when I dry my hair, I kind of half round brush it, half not. But like I separate my hair and spray this per separation. And it really worked. I really like it. Um, I paid $5.99 at Winners actually. I still have the name tag, the price tag on it. And yeah, I know that Sephora has it on sale too. Um, the bigger can, this is the mini one. 
but I I would definitely repurchase it if they have it at Winners. It's probably gonna be cheaper than Sephora, so I'll definitely buy it again. What I did notice though, when if you're not using actual heat to dry your hair after, like if you're just letting it air dry, that I didn't find any um, difference because I did do that like the first two times just because I didn't end up blow drying my hair after. Um, so when I did that, I didn't notice a difference, but when I actually used this and then used my blow dryer right away, I did notice that it made my hair drying process much, much quicker, so I love that. So definitely try this out if you have thick hair and it takes a long time to dry. Honestly, I personally enjoyed it. I got my sister on it. I don't know what she said about that yet. I think, I don't know, I hope she likes it. Jen, do you like it? <laughs> so now for a more higher end brand. I picked up the Briogeo Banana and Coconut Be Gentle, Be Kind line. I'm so excited about this. I've used it once. Um, it smells amazing. Like, truly, truly so freaking good. It is a uh, banana and coconut. It oh, smells like I wanna eat you. Anyways, TBH, I bought it because my favorite YouTuber, Maddie Bernard, raves about this. She said it changed her hair, and I was like, okay, now that I'm trying to take care of my hair, what do I have to do? So I bought this. Um, honestly, a really good deal. $59 for both of them from Sephora. They're 369 mils each. Um, Maddie's hair is fabulous. Anything Maddie says, suggests, does, wears, whatever, I buy. She is my favorite influencer. She has influenced me a lot. <laughs> Anyways, um, she rants and raves about this all the time, as so many other people on Instagram and YouTube do. So I tried it out. I love it. The shampoo is, um, they both smell amazing. The shampoo, I figure, is kind of like a regular shampoo. I don't really notice anything from it, but I love the conditioner. Um, the conditioner actually is, like a deep conditioner. It's not even just like a regular rinse out, whatever. So I love that even more when I found out that it can be used as a deep conditioner so you can let it soak in your hair. That is my favorite thing ever. When I rinsed out my hair, it felt so smooth, so hydrated, like so silky soft. So I'm really excited that I got this and so excited to keep on using it. I really love it. It smells so, so good. Um, the conditioner is definitely my favorite versus the shampoo, but Hey, it's, you know, I'm gonna use them both together. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little talkative hair care video. Um, let me know if you guys have used any of those products before. I love hearing your comments. And yeah, I'll see you next time.